So I'll never work with Okay And also I will never work with uh, I feel like if, if you actually reveal right like Either these people cannot get jobs yeah. uh, They shouldn't <laughs> be in this line of work <laughs> 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 okay guys, just tell me how much do you want? <laughs> how much can I put you down for? Okay guys, welcome back to another episode of Kachow. Um, I'm very happy that you guys love this series. If you don't love, you like, also can. You guys have been commenting so much. It's very, very helpful. Today, our guest is someone very special. Not from TSL, but some say even better, even bigger. But before that, we would like to thank Smart for lending us this premium all-electric SUV for today's shoot. Not only does it provide business class comfort, no, it also has a smart app where you can check all your little like battery power left la, all the smart things that I, I haven't figured out because I'm not that smart. They also have a mini fridge right here which is very useful because we're doing shoots like this, eating and drinking in the car. Not so ideal for most drivers but hey, this is the shoot. Now I think the guest is almost here. I am very, very nervous. Probably the biggest guy I've ever interviewed. Oh, guy. Flashback. I would like to what am I saying? Um, hey, why I say before that first? I say before that twice. What am I saying? Surian, 3, 2, 1. Oh, Surian, relax, relax. The Gamit Singh space is already here. It's already here. It's here. And a flashback. Okay, the guest is finally here. Malaysia Buah Kataka. So I'm very nervous. Um, he's actually peering into the, the window of the car because that's my cue to you know let him in. Basically, he is, some say, best in Singapore. But Singapore Batam, Singapore JB, JB. <laughs> best in Singapore JB and some say Batam. Singapore best in Singapore JB and some say Batam. He is Mister Gurmit Singh. Hello. Oh my God. Hello. Hello. Wow, this is uh, quite a start. Oh, on my phone. <laughs> I am very nervous, just to say the least. Um, well, so should I drive then? <laughs> I, know, like, like that. I heard right. The yes. proper way to see your name is actually Gurmit. Gurmit Singh. Gurmit yeah, the Singh. Indians say Gurmit, but the non-Indians find it hard to roll the R's and say Gurmit, right? Uh -huh. So they just say Gurmit. So basically, I'm just going to what's going to happen today. You're going to have a little drive. I'm going to ask you a few questions, and then in I'm, between, I'm, I'm glad you told me how it's driven. <laughs> Why do the people do that? Huh? Hey, I'll call you. Like, oh, is that how you're gonna do it? I don't know. I thought you were gonna call me like this. Sorry, yeah, so I digress. We're yes. gonna drive and then. As we drive. As we car. As we drive. drive yeah. And in between, I'm gonna ask you questions. Uh, questions. Yep, your yep, questions. And then after that, we're gonna eat. It's a movie! Okay, let's <laughs> Let's eat. Yes, and I'm these starving. places, right, yes. are your recommendations. Yes, they are. I'm pretty sure there's stories to why you pick these. Yes, there are stories. Okay, so we will share as we go. Okay. Are you ready? I don't know. Are you ready? You're the <laughs> one. <laughs> I'm like, we've been here for three hours. The car hasn't moved at all. This is not the first day, actually. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. It's time for Kachau Gurmit. Kachau Gurmit. Mr. Gurmit. Okay. Let's not be formal. Just call me your majesty. <laughs> the whole Singapore knows you. No lah, let's ask. Hey! <laughs> you see, you didn't even look at me. A lot of people know you lah. A lot of people know you. Yeah, yes. as also as what you can Yes. The way I thought of it was like, oh my god, he's doing this for so long. Yeah. Now I was just thinking, yeah. will he ever get tired of being my friend? Here's the thing. Yep. I'll never get tired of it. Mm. I get tired from it. Because okay. it's a very uh, larger than life character. Mm -hmm. So, I, first of all, the voice. I have to change my voice. I have to talk like this now. So, I have to make my voice coarse like this. Right. And uh, there was one day I posted as Portugal. I could only last three hours. Because after three hours, I lost my voice. I really love this character because this character has brought me, I believe, way beyond what Gurmit as the actor could have achieved. He's one of those characters where it comes once in a lifetime because he gets away with almost anything. Mm. I say almost because I haven't reached that part where I get to jail and say, ah, that one I couldn't know. So far, uh, PCK has been able to make fun of anybody. Right. Even the minister. And they all laugh. <laughs> PCK made fun. Cuff him. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We are near the first location, yeah. which is? Uh, Bukit Timah Plaza. Uh -huh, which is serving Nasi Lama. Yes. Right, so why this place specifically? My first impression of it was cute because the shutters were down, the shop was closed mm. and it said nasilama.com. <laughs> but it is a Nasi Lama store but beyond that it's actually Nasi Padang. And this panchi <laughs> I like about him which I find it very rare nowadays is that uh -huh. he interacts with every single customer and I, I find it very endearing. Ok, 
Okay, we have gotten the food from nasilemakhouse.com Yes Actually got house but the sticker <laughs> for the word house disappeared So that's why Gomi thought it was nasilemak.com Yeah But it's not But yeah, unfortunately the nasi lemak rice yes. finished I told you right, this guy is hot property <laughs> But yeah, but still we got Gomi to choose his um, hot favourites from the yes. actual store Not much like us, a lot sold out Like the bagelier is not there anymore. Right 3, 2, 1 Busy <laughs> let's <laughs> Is it is it too little? Is oh it? my god! Like you can't even see the rice. This is not nasi padang. It's just the yeah. padang. Many Can you it. just explain to us what you got? I got beef rendang. Uh huh. I got ayam kicap hitam punya manis. <laughs> punya okay. bapa punya manis. And then I got prawn uh, sambal. Uh huh. And then I got the sambal belacan. Uh -huh. Must have. Then I got uh, egg with onion, so they call it the uh, telur bawang. Correct. Mm. And um. I got starter foam. <laughs> <laughs> if you're still hungry, you can eat the starter foam. Okay, let's try. What are you going with? Hello? Okay, okay. Mm. And the sambal. Oh. What do you have? Did you have the egg or the rice or the sambal? It was just that amalgamation of whatever sauce that you had. Actually, amalgamation is yeah, a big, big word. Big you don't know what it means, right? Amalgamation. <laughs> you know, sometimes stalls like nasi padang especially, right? they'll be known for one or two dishes. Right. That's a bit like, okay, no, okay. But mm. this one, every... Every component that you put here is sedap. It's insane. I can't believe I'm saying it. Mm. But the ayam kicap here, oh. better than my mother one. Sorry. You take the beef rendang. You okay. The beef rendang. Uh. Hey, shit, I'm just using a spoon and I can cut the rendang. I would say rendang is like the determining factor if your shop can pass as a Malay Muslim shop. Yeah. You true. cannot pass rendang that. close. Definitely. It's more fragrant than what I'm used to, but the flavors really get into the the what we say, uh, the fibers of the meat, uh, the serat. The meat. It's infused. Yes. As we were taking B-roll just now, Gamit was thoroughly enjoying everything. He's almost actually done with his portion. <laughs> I was going to talk about prawns but I already eat, so it's okay. Sometimes sambal prawn, right? When it gets overcooked, sometimes you lose that prawn flavor. Prawn flavor is still inside here. Mm. The seafoody, like, I don't know So I reckon, uh, when mm. they cook, right, they have the shell on. So uh -huh. then the thing is all kept in. Right. Then when it's done cooking, then they peel for you. That's very nice. If you could pick one, which is the favorites on the favorites? Which one is your favorite? <laughs> My favorite one is... Uh, oh, it's hard, dude. I would say the the beef rendang with the sambal on it. Because a lot of times you go to a nasi padang store, you get beef rendang that is you know more has more elasticity than rubber. Okay. You know, that that really kills the joy out of your own life. So, <laughs> you know, yeah, the beef rendang. Just now, right, where we, we were exiting the car to buy the food, right? Yes. I saw that you did something which is pretty interesting. Don't yeah. tell him I touch my crotch. <laughs> No, no, it's not that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because no, I'm no. also human. I, I have a, I have one. <laughs> Sometimes it gets a bit itchy. So basically, yeah, as we're walking, right, yeah. I saw the mean like looking at people, and there was one point he was looking into a guy in this car. And I asked him, why you keep looking at people as though you know, right. as though you know them. So right. What was that? Yeah, because you know, once I'm out of the house or the car, right, I am public property. Ooh. And I have this story to share. Uh -huh. So there was one time I was at an event and then a lady came up to me and said, mm. Hey, come in. I said, hi. Ma, today not bad. Huh? You're quite polite. Okay. So I'm like, whoa, what do you mean? I said, last time you, I met you, you were very proud, very uh, standoffish. I said, oh my goodness. I mean, I like to think that I'm a, you know, easygoing friendly, no ass about me. Because mm -hmm. I always believe I'm a person first, then a superstar or whatever you call me. So I said, can you explain to me what happened so I don't repeat this? mistake that I've made. She said, right, it was at Orchard Road. Mm. You were coming out of the Wisma Atria Orchard MRT, walking down the steps to the sidewalk. I said, mm. okay. Then she said, I said hi to you, I waved to you, but you didn't respond at all. You didn't even look my way. You look like very, very proud. Mm -hmm. I said, I said oh, really? So you were coming up the stairs, I was going down the stairs and then you said, no, no, no. She said, no. Then I said, oh, you mean I was coming down the stairs and you were with me on my side? Mm -hmm. And I just, no, she said, no. Then I said, I don't understand. So how, how did this happen then? She said, as you're coming down the stairs, right, I'm actually opposite at Tank Superstore, coming out of the Tank Superstore, across the, across the street. Oh my god. With traffic, you know. Okay. She said, I waved and called you. Hey, come in. But you didn't wave back and didn't say hello. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, in a nanosecond, I decided that there was no way of winning this argument. So, I apologized profusely. I said, I'm so sorry. That's really, really rude of me. Said, yeah. You should have <laughs> She not. agreed. Should yeah, you rude. You're very rude, you know. <laughs> you should have you know, run through traffic and get yourself run down by a car or something. <laughs> but no, she didn't say that. But uh, it just made me think that people are always uh, looking at me and uh, if I have the opportunity to smile back, I will. Okay, I'll tell you a story. Yeah. Okay. I was a urinal. Not peeing, because I, I have a... I have a... Okay, I have. <laughs> so, the guy comes next to me and he starts peeing. Then he has, happens to just glance to the left and then he realizes, Can you sing? Ah? You're the TV one. Can you sing? I said, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm peeing, by the way. <laughs> okay. I said, then he said, wow. Never before I meet a celebrity. Uh, celebrity. I say, hey, thank you. Then he does this. Nice to meet you. 
He sticks out his hand. So what do I do? Hey, how do you do? <laughs> and then the best part of the story is, uh. it wasn't even me. <laughs> it was Adrian Pang. <laughs> Who are your favorite top three co-hosts? Okay, uh, I got three guys in mind. Okay. Immediately, Mark Lee, Sheikh Haikal, mm -hmm. and uh, Adrian Pang. Wait because there is this synergy that you cannot manipulate or manufacture. It's, it's like when you meet someone for, for the first time, there's some vibe or no vibe, right? Right, right. Same thing for co-hosts as well. Some co-hosts are really like a-hole because they think they're so larger than life and they mm. are prima donnas. But these three guys, uh, they don't do that. They are really approachable. They are next door neighbor kind of guy. Mm. Meanwhile, what's the last location? Wade? Yeah, Wade is uh, Gelang, right? Yeah, ah, okay. Cool. After that, just nice. Go to the... <laughs> No? <laughs> 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 um, okay guys, tell me how much do you want? How much can I put you down for? So we are reaching the next mm. location which mm. is Rahim or Rahim sorry? Rahim. Rahim. Yes. So this is called Mirabos Paul. It was covered in uh, my show Makam Places Lost and Found. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is one where I had actually to be truthful, I have forgotten. I contacted my producer and said, hey, give me the list of the Mirabos. Right. I mean the Malay stalls and all that that you have. Mm -hmm. And so this was one of those Mirabos stalls. Uh. Just got the Mirabos, Mirabos power apparently yes. from Rahim Muslim stall. Now apparently just now I was there, right? Um, I saw your face there. I was in the car here. What do you mean you saw my face there? <laughs> no, you. I saw your episode and then there was like a photo of you and like the crew and the whole Rahim crew. Oh really? Yes, it's there. Oh, it's still there. Yeah. Nice. The gravy, just to say. What's this on the top? The normal Mirabos does not have this chicken. Oh, so I forgot about that. Mirabos power. Is basically the same chicken that they put inside their misoto. I mean, already visually, right? That's important about food. So visually, has to like capture your imagination, right? And this one, you see the gravy is like. And what are the imaginations that come out? Thick, solid sustenance. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hence the word power. <laughs> It's one of the, I think, if not the most, the thickest gravy we'll find in Mirabos. I don't know why. It reminds me of going out. When your mother buys you a nice Mirabos on Saturday and everything was nice, everything was fine and dandy. Funny you should say that. This reminds me when I was in primary school, mm. uh, the canteen. Back in the day, they sell Mirabos and Misam for 15 cents. It was like that. Thick Mirabos, mm. you know. So this, when I when I eat this, right, I think straight away, I like transported to the canteen and then savoring the Mirabos. I... It gave you that ratatouille moment. Yes, mm. ratatouille. The chicken, um, let me just like have a quick taste. Huh? I don't know if it would really help. Yeah, the chicken is cooked well. It's soft, tender, mm. right? It's not like a byproduct. <laughs> no, no, it's not just put for fun. It doesn't just put there just to say, oh power, because got chicken, but the chicken works. For yeah. 550, for this amount of sustenance, more yeah. than just worth it. Lah. Yeah. Just now we talked about like the amazing trio yeah. of people. I'm pretty sure there are times where you go like, you know, working in this space, there are certain individuals or groups of people that when you see them on the on the call sheet or you know you're gonna have to be working with them, you're like, oh man. Okay, oh here we I go. see. Here like, we go. You I'd rather not work with them, kind of thing. Well, you would think that, right? Yeah. You think there'll be one or two, right? Mm. Uh, I actually have a whole list of them. <laughs> okay. Because of various reasons, you know, either they're prima donna or uh -huh. they see a limelight, they're not professional, or they they just they're just bad people <laughs> to the core. And right. I know some things about them. So uh, yeah, I'll tell you now. So uh -huh. I'll never work with. Okay. And also, I will never work with. Uh, mm -hmm. Then, oh my goodness, how can I forget? I never, I'll never forget till the day I die. I will never never work with. Never, ever, ever. And then I also, or oh, this one, if you can avoid, please tell your children to avoid also working with. I feel like if, if you actually reveal, right, like either these people cannot get jobs. Yeah. Uh, they shouldn't. They shouldn't be in this line of work. Really, you know? Some people, you wonder why they're in this line of work, right? Yeah, you've done so many things mm. up till now. Mm. I'm going to give you a very um, end of interview question. Lah. Wow. What is Gamit saying in the, in the next five to ten years? Dude, uh, here's the thing. I don't even know what's happening tomorrow. <laughs> you know, my, my, my job, my career uh, is very volatile because it's essentially based on public's opinion of me. They like me, they endorse me, I have work. Mm -hmm. They don't like me because I did something stupid or say something 
horrible or did something horrible, mm -hmm. then no TV station, no production company, no audience will want me anymore. That's why I always say that uh, the TV station was never my paymaster. The audience is my paymaster. They are my boss. So if I continue doing what I'm doing now, yeah, maybe I'll have a, I'll still be doing this in five years time. But tomorrow, if I do something stupid, horrible, mm -hmm. then in the next two, three days, uh, I'll be a forgotten, nobody will touch me. Right. Mm. So it's hard to say what I'll do in five years' time. I hope to be still around. Be having Vade. Yeah, so what about this Vade that you like so much about? This Vade, I mean, it's a nice segue to this because this... Hello, move lah! Oh, ambulance, <laughs> ambulance driver! What time, man? I found them out during the, the COVID period. And apparently this man, Stephen, he, he stopped short his studies to help his mom because his mom was doing Vade's to sell from her flat to mm. support the children to go to university. You know, mothers, huh? Mm. He decided to stop short so that his uh, other siblings can get the money to go to university. It, uh, it's not just a very stall. It's a story about motherhood. Mother who would do anything. And I can relate to that because my mom worked so hard and did so much when we were poor. And mothers who would do something or anything. Uh, and a family coming together, family supporting each other, filial piety. I mean, all these little nuances are in this one original buddy right. story. Right. And you always get this. I always got this, yeah. We are at our final stop. Yes. We have original Vade. How do you actually say it? Vade. No, but the Vade. Oh, Vade. 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 <laughs> okay, so basically, I don't actually know what's inside Vade. Do you know what's actually in it? Well, it's secret herbs and spices <laughs> that we cannot tell anybody. Okay. It's flour. <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> but we'll go with your favorite first. Yes. Which is the prawn. Ooh. Yes. Okay, what is your combination? Do you bite first and then bite this? You bite first, then you bite this. <laughs> no, as in, <laughs> shit. Then <I don't> <laughs> <Yeah>, I bite this. <laughs> you bite this first or you bite this first? Bite first and this. Okay. What about you? Uh, what I'm are this you first. Sensing? I'm this first. Really? Uh? Yeah. Wow, what an idiot. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh. yeah. In general, any body, I don't need to be original body. Mm. If you're expecting something, wow, oh, so clean and like fulfilling, no. You buy a body because you want to eat something greasy mm. and you want to feel bad about it. Mm. And it's okay. And because it's bad, that's why you feel good about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now, we have the Ikan Bilis Vade. Oh, okay. I'm not really a fan of it. No, I'm not saying that it's a shit. I mean, this is good. Ikan Bilis is a new thing. The original, during my day when the dinosaurs still walk about, it was the prawns that was the thing. It was, mm. I never had Ikan Bilis before. Only in the last maybe decade. Now, the reason why I like it is because it gives you a stronger fishy taste and a saltier taste when you're eating the Vade. Mm. Mm. So the reason why I like this Vade, mm -hmm. I think I'm biased. Food is like that. When there's a story behind the food, mm. then your heart get, gets behind, your taste bud gets behind the food itself. I'm not saying this is bad, but because there's a story, there's an added layer of why I like it more now. But without the story, this is a perfect Vade. You know, it's crispy on the outside, it's soft on the inside, it's got your choice of either gambiles, prawns, or even onions. And it's got this green chilli, which really brings back my, my childhood days. We used to eat this like that. That's it for like, you know, <laughs> Gourmet's recommendations for today. Okay guys, we have come to the end of this episode of Kachao with Gurmit Singh. It, it was amazing, just to oh, say the least. I had uh, fun. That's, that's, that's great. Good. Let's do it again. <laughs> no, it's crazy because like, growing up, yeah. I saw this guy on the TV yeah. having this persona of what you can't. Yeah. And then I saw him on like, Life Live. And then I saw him going around eating um, food with Michelle. Sounds like a serial killer. No, going around, <laughs> going around no and then like, I could never imagine mm. meeting him and actually talking to him, right? Whatever you did in your heyday, right? Yeah. It only did not like, I did not remember any of it. I feel like I was talking to you as you today. Am I making any sense? No, I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> so you're <coughs> saying that I'm not a, a TV persona. You feel like I'm a... Yeah, I feel like I was oh, just okay. talking good. to That's a guy good. that good. I met on the streets. That's the way I want it, man. Because I, I don't believe in all that bullshit. Like, you know, I, I got glasses and I don't talk to people. Once again, thank you so much for watching this episode of Kachao. Um, please let us know who you want to be in this seat next. I don't know who else can talk to you, lah, but we'll try. We'll try next episode. Talk to me. Yeah. You see a lot. Lah. You see a lot of sun. <laughs> okay, once again, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, you can watch more over there. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye. Hmm. Bye-bye. So, okay, you... so now you must press the accelerator so huh? the car can move. Because the but the at the brake you go okay yeah then you then you ambulance driver <laughs> flashback so I'll never work with apple with uh, watermelon I will never never work with 
sugarcane. Tell your children to avoid also working with <laughs> Nasi Lemak.